Shelly, within hours of two armed robberies, one involving that shooting, dozens of undercover officers were watching over Owensboro's convenience stores. Police say they didn't have time to wait for a tip. Just had a robber. Okay. What's the address there, sir? And one guy got shot. A call to action for Owensboro police after two convenience store heists. Six o'clock Tuesday night, a masked man enters a pantry store, fires a shot, and takes off with cash. Then just before midnight, two men do the same at a Kangaroo Express, shooting an employee in the leg before leaving. Because of the severity, because they fired off the handgun uh, and were getting more aggressive in the second uh, robbery, uh, we drastically felt the need to find these guys as soon as possible. Hours after a clerk was shot here, two suspects were under arrest. Police say that's because their officers and detectives in plain clothes and unmarked cars saturated the streets. Undercover officers kept tabs on every convenience store in Owensboro until the next night when Donta Johnson and Larry Davenport were pulled over for driving suspiciously around several of them. The gun was found in the vehicle. And uh, the more they were questioned, the more they were suspected. Contrast that to the recent robberies of this Kangaroo Express in Evansville. A tip from a neighbor led to the arrest of a man who admitted to hitting the store three times. Though the EPD tells News 25 it increased patrols, it couldn't confirm officers went undercover around the clock. Usually, if there's been a bunch of robberies in a certain location, then we stem the beef up patrols in the area and do other things that I can't mention. Police say the difference is the severity of the crime. The Evansville suspect had no gun and didn't hurt anyone. Officer Green also points out Evansville is a larger area to cover. And Owensboro police admit their arrests were part hard work, part luck. We were in the right place at the right time and doing our darnest, working uh, 15, 20 hours a day trying to find them. The Owensboro suspects are facing robbery and attempted murder charges. Both had recently been released from jail. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jonathan Lee, News 25.